Watch your learn, bye. Oh, class. I have to tell you something, bye. I've been dating this girl. She's white. A white girl? Yeah, you can't look like you and me, a white girl. It's okay. We hate terrorists. I wonder who that could be. I'm guessing it's a young single Pakistani woman. This is Zubeda. For your files, your X files. That's your favorite show, huh? <laughs> the truth is out there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you judging Pakistan's next hot model? You know how we have arranged marriage in my culture? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Can you imagine a world in which we end up together? I don't know. I'm looking for Emily Gardner. She was checked in tonight. There's an infection. We put her in a medically induced coma. Coma. You should call her family. Thank you. Come on. We're gonna handle things from here. I think I'm just gonna wait anyway. You guys broke up. I'm not sure why you're here. I'm just gonna stay for a second. Is this seat? Okay. Is that lady still looking at me? So, uh, 9-11. I've always wanted to have a conversation with people. You've never talked to people about 9-11? I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Do you want to do anything? You can't rhyme it? You try to find a word that nobody could rhyme. Okay. And then Stonehenge. It, yeah, see, you would win. Yeah. I think I screwed up with your daughter. Yeah, you did. Let me give you some advice, come on. Love isn't easy. That's why they call it love. I don't really get that. I, know. I thought I could just start saying something and something small would come out. Assalamu alaikum and salam sejahtera to Madam Silvarani and to my fellow friends. My name is Nurul Hidza Bidi Mamur. Number metric is 1210378. Just now, I have shown you a trailer about the bit seek that have intercultural communication in it. Next, we will go to introduction. This film directed by Michael Showell. The main actors are Kumal Nantini as Kumal and Zo Kazan as Emily. Next, we will go to the synopsis of this film. Kumal is a Pakistani. He is an Uber driver and a stand-up comedian. Kumal meets a woman named Emily that yelled at him during his show. From that, they became a couple. On the other hand, Kumal family find Kumal a partner that is a Pakistani woman but Kumal does not want it. One day, Emily knew about the situation and was very angry. After that, they did not contact each other until one day, Emily got sick and coma. Kumal take care of Emily until she is awake. After that, Kumal and Emily still were friends. Then Kumal got offered to New York to do stand-up comedy. When Kumal was performed in New York, suddenly a woman yelled at him and the woman is Emily. That situation just like the first time they were meet. There are two types of communication. Verbal communication that happen through written words or vocally or verbally. Second, non-verbal communication. Non-verbal communication is communication without word of mouth, spoken words, written languages and conversation. There are many scenes that use Verbal communication, but there is one scene that use non-verbal communication. Non-verbal communication just like this scene. Mr. Cuevas, please see Dr. Descano. Mr. Cuevas, please see Dr. Descano. Hey. Yeah, come on, there's no reason. Uh... Okay, next we go to the elements of intercultural communication. There are six elements of intercultural communication. Number one is language. For example, when Kumar write the name of Emily in Urdu and show that to Emily. This situation, we can include it into written communication. Number two is religion. First scene was when Kumar thought to the audience about Pakistan that pray five times a day. And we prayed a lot. Well, not a lot, just five times a day. <laughs> Next, when Kumal's mother asked Kumal to go to free, but Kumal was pretend and set time by playing games and watch the video and many other activities. I'm <laughs> 
Number three is history. For example, the scene was. When Kumal shared the history of Pakistan to the audience in Chicago. That's history. Pakistan was formed when it separated from its biggest rival, India, on August 14th, 1947. Uh, six runs. Silly mid on, short mid wicket, mid wicket, deep mid wicket, mid on, long on, long off, bowler, mid off. A googly. I have to leave as soon as the show is over. I can't stay. Okay. okay. So if you get a silly mid-on fielder, you know you're getting a Yorker soon. <laughs> Number four, food. For example, when Kumar shared the food of Pakistan named Mithai that served during Eid Mubarak to the audience. Eid Mubarak, that's our Christmas. Except instead of the traditional Christmas ham, we serve Mithai, which my Khansama Chris will serve to you right now. Khansama is Urdu, for servant. If you want to make it at home, the main ingredients are Next, when Emily learned to cook Pakistan's food. Hey, it's me. So, um, I tried making some Pakistani food. Other than that, when Kumar's father gave Riani that cook by Kumar's mother and give it to Kumar before Kumar go to New York. Yeah. She asked me to give this to you. Mutton biryani for your trip, your favorite. She made it herself specially for you with extra potatoes. Thank you, Ma. She okay? Number five, culture. For example, when Kumal explained to Emily that arranged marriage was Pakistan's culture. Seriously, who are these women? Okay. Um, you know how we have arranged marriage in my culture? These are those women. These are women in Pakistan who want to marry you? They're not in Pakistan. Number six is song. For example, when Kumar sing a Pakistan song in front of the audience. And the audience stand up for respect the song. Lastly, the conclusion. The conclusion that I get in this film are There are many challenges to love someone that have different culture and different religion just like Emily and Kumar. So because of that, we must talk to each other softly and gently. Other than that, we must learn and love the different culture. And the most important thing, we must obey to our religion and our parents. Thank you for watching my videos. Goodbye.